as we track the major developments as we do each and every day, including the coronavirus emergency. And here is our big number that is very troubling. The U.S. now reporting more than 800 deaths a day. That is the highest average in five months. And Dr. Jen, even with the high hospitalization rates, there is still a significant portion of the population who remains unvaccinated right, right now. We've been talking about that. And a lot of times, one of the reasons some of these folks cite is that they don't think the risk of death is that great and so why should they get the shot exactly so let's look at this through the filter or lens of time here it's not just acute or short-term risks of covid but as we've been talking about for a long time it's the long-term risks also now there's a recent study just published in the lancet this data comes out of wuhan hubei province in china they looked at about 1276 patients who were hospitalized with covid 19 at the one year mark, Amy, about 50% of them still experiencing at least one symptom. And this is important regardless of the severity of their illness. So even more mild cases. And we're talking here about symptoms like fatigue, brain fog, cognitive issues, respiratory or breathing difficulties, depression, anxiety, it literally runs the gamut. So as you mentioned, when I hear people say, I can get through this, it's just a short term couple of days of being sick, I probably won't die. Think about the long term effects as well. They are not trivial. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.